Hello, everyone. Happy Monday uh, to those in Canada. It is uh, Thanksgiving Monday, which is what I wanted to come on here and talk a little bit about with you. And um, this will probably ruffle a few feathers. I seem to be fairly good at that. I've come to realize that that might be part of my my path, um, you know, speaking my truth, you know, not forcing it on anyone, but speaking my truth, sharing my truth um, seems to ruffle a lot of feathers. So before I start, I did just want to clear some air. Now, I know for a lot of people, the, the singing bowls don't seem to come through very well um, on YouTube. I don't know if they're interfering or doing something, but I just wanted to clear the air. Um, if you see smoke, I do have my Paleo Santo going, like I've spoken about before. I mean, I am a huge lover of sage, but Paleo Santo is also one that I equally love. It is a transmuter, so it transmutes the negativity into pure love and light back to source, a lot like the violet flame. So, <laughs> okay, I wanted to talk a little bit about Thanksgiving, and I say that this may ruffle some feathers, which I'm okay with, you know, I look back at these last, what, almost three years, and I've lost so many people because I have um, stood up for, for my rights, for my children's rights, and for those around us for their rights. I don't do well with um, authority and being told what to do, um, hence my, <laughs> I do not co-parent with the government. <laughs> Um, this was one shirt I wasn't allowed to wear at work. <laughs> um, but, you know, I just want to, I just want to share before I get into this, these are my truths. Please don't feel like just because you're hearing me speak about this, or you hear other people speak about things that you need to take them on as your truths. Um, I've really come to, um, this place now over these last um, three years of realizing that we all come here on our own soul contract that we have agreed to. We all have our own free will of how things are going to play out. If we're not liking something in our life, we have the ability and the power to change that and to look at things differently. So like I said, although I have lost a ton of people friendships and community within these last two and a half years I don't choose to look at it that way anymore I choose to focus on all the amazing connections and people and communities that I'm I'm building now um, these true um, people that are really accepting of just like who I am even if we have differences of opinions and differences of truths we still can hold space and compassion and love and gratitude for each other and um so again, switching it to like, I can sit in this, like in this sorrow, in this like anger, in this sadness of everything that I've lost, or I can focus on all the amazing things that I am gaining and that, you know, the, the amount of spiritual work that I've done on myself as well, like looking at myself and how much I've grown through this. Um, so I just wanted to kind of open up with that a little bit, because like I said, I know this is probably going to ruffle feathers for a lot of people. And um, I remember <laughs> I, this was like a, a few, like a number of years ago where I was still on Facebook before I got the full boot. Um, I think most of you guys, I've talked about it before. I was within these last three years, I had gotten completely booted off Facebook. I can't go back on. I know a lot of people are like, just make another account. I use a VPN. I have a brand new phone. Um, I cannot get on or see anything on Facebook. They somehow know that it's me, no matter what I'm opening, even if it's open to everybody. And I need to provide government issued ID um, in order to get back on, which will never happen. I actually don't miss it, other than the fact that a lot of people create groups on there. I diverse. So, but one time I remember for Thanksgiving, I posted this meme, which I would I need to find it. I think it's on one of my old phones. If I could find it, I'll use it for the thumbnail. But it was, it was basically, I posted it on Thanksgiving saying, 
that the only Christopher that um, that I I think it was like honor or acknowledge um, is Christopher Wallace. <laughs> Those of you that don't listen to hip hop that don't know who Christopher Wallace is, Biggie Smalls. Okay, <laughs> this is who it was. So it had like a picture of him, and I remember somebody who. Um, I was actually, I mean, like a lot of people didn't really like it. Some people laughed at it. Some people loved it. Um, but I remember one person, like, I mean, I wouldn't say who it was anyways. I can't even remember who they were, but I remember I was like shocked that that person took such an offense to it because they seemed like such to me at the time, like such a spiritual person, like this person that I kind of like looked up to almost. And they just like, I think they were the only person that put like a negative comment on it. And it was kind of like, you know, basically like, how could you and da, 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 like, whatever, you know, I, I don't remember because I don't hold on to it. But I laugh at it now. Because again, it's just like, if there's something that you see, or you hear that you don't align with, or that you don't resonate with, just let it go. You know, where are you choosing to put your energy into? Are you choosing to step into that conflict and to react? Or are you just being the observer, right? And just letting it flow, right? I mean, a lot of times I used to be that person that would be like, oh, I have to respond to this. Or I have to say something to this. And it's like, well, why? Why are you putting energy into those things when you could be putting energy into creating what you do want, right? Um, so my beliefs on Thanksgiving, I personally do not celebrate Thanksgiving, <laughs> what I do celebrate is I celebrate the harvest. I celebrate the changing of the seasons. I celebrate gratitude. And I am, you know, I do take extra time maybe at this time, not just this day. You know, I've like, I've spoke about this before that I started a gratitude journal. Um, can I say that I've written in it every single day since I've started it? No, but um, it definitely helps me to like, to just write down all these things that I'm grateful for, all these amazing things happening in my life, whether I think that they're big or small, again, what is big or small? They're all pieces to our puzzle, to our journey, right? So, um, you know, the little, I think I mentioned this before, the small, I shouldn't even call it small or little, um, but the the check that I got from, you know, Melaleuca, the the reimbursement that I got over here, um, the the person you know coming into my life and having this conversation you know sometimes we think of these as small things but really they're not small because they just they're all a piece of the puzzle they're all part of this like creation that you are calling into your life and when you are really um in that gratitude in that thankfulness it just continues to flow in and it really is so so beautiful um just one second so, um, yeah, I just, <laughs> I know just saying that, um, that I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. I mean, yes, I went with my family. My mom made a beautiful meal for us last night. Um, you know, my sister-in-law and brother brought something. I brought something. We all contributed. And it's beautiful to be able to get together, to spend the time together, to just remember how thankful we are for those that we have in our life, especially now, right? A lot of us have lost so many people so stay focused on those people that we do have in our lives and um why i don't celebrate thanksgiving well <laughs> um if you stop and think about the stories that we've been told about thanksgiving how um you know the white man came in they pillaged through um the the native americans the indigenous people and you know the the religious aspect right as well the the um, Catholicism, I always have a hard word, I have a hard time saying that word, um, you know, coming in and, and they, you know, changing absolutely everything about how they do things, taking away traditional medicine, taking away their spirituality, their, their connection to source, to Mother Gaia, to spirit, um, to the animals, you know, the, the traditional way that they hunted, that they used the earth medicines, um, their own language, you know, all these things like, um, I mean, I never experienced the residential schools. And as far as I know, none of my family ever did. Um, I could be wrong on that as well, right? I don't know all of my lineage 
since most of it is back home in, in the States. Um, but this day and this time, you know, if you stop and think about it, this is not an easy time for a lot of the people um, that are around us, right? This is a really triggering time of like what happened to to them or to their family or what is still happening to this day, right? And this is where, you know, I feel like a lot of people, um, they they kind of forget about like the meaning of what um, Thanksgiving really is and um, what this time did to people. Like it's it's kind of a horrific time to be celebrating something, right? Like we're celebrating the fact that like, people's lives were destroyed and their their belief systems were taken away from them. Their, their native language was taken away from them. Um, families were literally taken away from them, um, even killed, um, raped, like all these horrific things. This is what happened. And so is this really what you are wanting to celebrate? Now, I'm not saying this in a way to condemn anybody for what you do. I just ask people that you really sit back at all these programs and, you know, indoctrination that we're told to believe, we're told to celebrate these things, these times. Um, I also find it kind of funny. It's it's kind of like a commercialized um I find most um, holidays that that are um, you know that are pushed on us are commercialized, right? So it's like if you think about like the, to me when I'm thinking about being grateful and thankful, it's for what I have now in this now moment. What do I have? What have I like? You know, my progress in life, like just really sitting in this now moment. But yet. Um, Again, Thanksgiving is all it's I feel like a lot of times it's like you're buying all this stuff, you're doing all these things to like to celebrate to celebrate Thanksgiving, to celebrate this time that really is um, you know, the history behind it really is not um in my mind, in my truth, it's not something that I ever would celebrate, right? I mean, I used to, um, but I choose not to anymore, you know. Um, I choose now to just like, I mean, be grateful on a daily basis. Um, maybe today I will focus more on, um, on gratitude and gratefulness. You know, all the amazing things happening in my life. I've got um, a healing treatment this afternoon. Um, my son will be coming back. He had an extra day with his dad and his family. Um, my kids, my other girls will be coming back later this evening. So, you know, there I have so much to be grateful for and to focus on. And um, yeah, I just, you know, I, I would love to hear what some of you have to think about this, like in the comments, if you're, if you're open to speaking about this, like I said, I understand that this could be um, a triggering um, topic for some, um, or you just may not totally resonate with it at all. And that's totally fine. Right. I, I, I welcome that as well, because we're not all going to have the same truth. I mean, I, I remember when I made the switch from from being the like not that I'm not still the the strong mama bear but I was putting so 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 much energy into the fight of all this into the fight of everything that was going on it was consuming me that was where all my energy was going I wasn't doing work on myself I wasn't focusing on the life that I wanted when I finally made that switch I mean, my life completely changed uh, and it continues to, to just flourish and change and be amazing. Um, but, you know, when I made that switch, I remember doing a video. I think it was before I was on YouTube because it would have been my TikTok and I shared it a few places. And I remember people within the, the freedom community that I was a part of. That, I mean, I'm still a part of. I just don't really tap in there. They did not like it. They did not like the fact that I was talking about um, that we're not here to wake other people up. You know, it's not our job to wake other people up, to hold that energy of, of somebody not waking up. Like, and trust me, I was there. I held so much energy and so much like um, 
just like wanting to wake these people up because you care for them and you love them and you you see sorry this is like focusing in and out so I, I can see it like focusing in and out um I just remember like you know seeing so many people and it would just like break my heart because I'm like if you just could see and wake up to like what's truly going on you could just see um I mean, your life would be so much easier. Like this is like what was running in my head, but it was just the constant thing. Right. And when I made that switch and I, I realized that we're all here on our soul contract, we're all free will. So within free will, we can't force our, um, our beliefs or our truths on other people. Right. And I mean, I grew up in a, in a system in, you know, being Catholic where that is exactly what was forced on me, you know, that there's one God and you only worship one God, no other gods, that you are born sinful, that you need someone outside of yourself. To, to redeem you and that you have to live like this certain way in order to sorry my cat is getting into my class right now I'm not grateful for that <laughs> grateful for my cat but my cat my cat is such a brat <laughs> I can see him pulling out one of my plants um you know there's so much about um about religion that you know I always struggled with that I didn't resonate with and now I can see why I had you know those issues with it and, you know, I, I understand more, um, you know, now that I have fully found my connection to source, to mother, father, God, creator of all things living inside of me, you know, Mary Magdalene talks about in her gospels that we are not born of sin. We are not inherently sinful. It is quite the opposite. You know, we um, humans are, are born of love, you know, and um, it's, it's outside things that, that are sinful and that we, you know, we take in or that we you know become a part of but we ourselves you know the whole idea of this this loving god who who is creator of all things being also um spiteful and you know um condemning just never resonated with me and like i said now that i truly am connected to source to god i know exactly why those things never resonated with me because i know now um that God is within each and every one of us, that you don't need to go outside of yourself for anything. You know, a lot of this stuff is what the traditional um, Indigenous people of the land knew, right? They had their connection to source, to Mother Gaia. They honored everything about spirit, spirit within each and every one of us, in the plants, in the animals, like all of that. Um, so... Uh, yeah, I just, I wanted to come on today. I can see my computer, my camera's being really, really weird right now. It's probably trying to stop me from putting this out. I'm probably still going to post it because I'm not going to let it stop me. I do not consent to any um, negative or lower vibrations that are not for my highest, most loving good. Um, so yeah, I just want to send, I'm just giving this a quick smudge here again. <laughs> Um, I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this. Again, this is in no way coming at anybody in a condemning way for, you know, what you may believe or what you may practice. I would love to hear, you know, your thoughts and your views of things. Um, um, you know, I, in, as long as we can all be respectful and honoring of each other, and you know hold space right it's just about holding space we don't have to take on you don't have to take on my truths I don't have to take on your truths but this is how we truly learn right question always question 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 and be open to hearing new things right see what re truly resonates with you um, use your intuition your discernment to see what your truth is find your truth stand in your sovereignty shine your unique your unique light um, always be in love, gratitude, and joy. I wish you so much gratitude, love, abundance, um, health, and wellness today. Um, get outside if you're able to, you know, especially those of us in the, the Northern Hemisphere, we're, we're 
definitely going into the colder time. So anytime that we've got this sun shining that we can get outside, I encourage you to take it all in, take the beauty of the, the color change that we are seeing right now in, in, in and around um, the places that we live. I love you all so, so much. And um, I look forward to seeing your comments. We will chat soon. Take care.